Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. Today we are talking about how to fake subsurface scattering with backlighting in Redshift. This is a super simple technique that yields high quality results and lightning fast render times. So let's jump in and see what it's all about. Okay, so today we are talking about how to fake subsurface scattering with inside Redshift. Now, uh, this sounds too good to be true and it kind of almost is. And um, uh, when I discovered it, I was I was pretty happy because uh, subsurface scattering can be kind of a nightmare and, uh, well, nightmare is a big word, but it can be a process, right? And it can be a little bit heavy. Um, so fortunately for us, they have something in here that is called backlighting and translucency. Now, the, the picture I have in front of you is something that I made with it. And basically uh, what I used it for was the you know these kind of balloons that are happening here and just trying to get them to feel like they're a little bit transparent and they're a little bit translucent right and what does that mean by translucency well um, if you don't know about translucency uh, you actually do you just might not know a definition um, so translucency is actually uh, you can think of it as light that's going through something transparent and is diffused, right? So uh, you can think of it as an umbrella, right? So this light that comes through um, the umbrella and it kind of warms it up and it kind of changes the color of it. Uh, paper lanterns, right? So you have this light inside and the paper is getting illuminated by or backlit, I guess you can say, um, by the light that's happening here. Uh, most commonly, you see people refer it with leaves and flowers. Um, it kind of has this quality of being transparent, but it's it's also yeah it's diffused. It's not it's not quite transparent. It's uh, it's translucent. So that's really what it is. It's basically light that comes through something, and it, it you can think of it as getting diffused, and it kind of it spreads out the color almost. I mean I don't know what it's technically doing, but that's visually what it's what it does. It kind of spreads out the color, and this is very similar to subsurface scattering. Um, so uh, I'm going to take you through it. I'm just going to cut right to it. All right, so in this image, what I did is basically I used the backlighting and translucency for the balloons, right? So the balloons themselves, I wanted to feel like they had light being penetrated through them. Um, but in this case, I didn't want it to be too heavy handed. So I went pretty simple on it. Um, so what I want to do is I, I want to show an example scene where we can actually go kind of heavy handed if we want and we can do more extreme. So I just kind of pared down this scene um, and I just left our balloons and uh, the ladder here. Um, so let's see, let's see how we get this effect, right? So, so let's say we have our balloons and we know that we want them to feel like they have light going through them. So what I have here is I have a material that's applied to all the balloons, uh, the spheres, and um, it just has a simple, yeah, this is basic. Everything about it is basic. I just have the roughness of the reflection up just a tad. So uh, it feels more like a balloon. Um, now, if you come through your settings here, uh, the part that we're talking about today is backlighting and translucency. Now, this is wonderful because there's only two options here. There's color and weight, which is every designer's dream. I, I guess <laughs> to an extent, maybe sometimes you want more, but sometimes you don't. Um, in this case, I think it's kind of it's kind of nice just to have just a couple options because with subsurface it gets kind of nasty and there can be a lot of options that can give you a headache. Um, so let's see what it does. So let's just let's just turn it up and let's just see what happens to our balloons here when we turn this up. So right away when we turn up, you can see they kind of get filled in and they feel like they kind of have a glow coming through them, right? They feel like they're being backlit. And you'll see that the ones in the front don't feel that, uh, don't feel like that as much. And the reason why that's happening is if we go to our top view, just like anything, if you have a lot of objects behind you that are being, that are blocking the light, then obviously not as much light is going to come through. So therefore the, the balloons that are in the front are not getting as much light because they have more objects in the back blocking it. Um, so right away, that's kind of cool, right? We have, we've made it feel like it's like it has light going through it, right? It used to feel like this and now it's feeling like this. So what would happen if we change this color? So let's just go ahead and let's switch the color to like a nice blue. Well, now we're starting to get some really nice stuff, right? It's really starting to feel like there is kind of color pen penetrating through there. And it's feeling like, uh, yeah, it's being illuminated from the back, right? Now, this does somewhat have to do with your lights, but it also doesn't have to do with your lights, right? So your lights do affect it, of course, but it also, it's kind of just, it's kind of a fake is kind of how I think about this effect. This effect, this effect is a little bit of a fake. So even if I put my lights like around here and stuff, it's still, it does react with it, but 
it still does kind of glow and stuff. So it just kind of gives you this nice, like, soft effect that happens. And I think it's pretty awesome, personally, um, considering uh, how fast it works, too, right? So let's just put this light back where it was. Um, and now what would happen, right now we just have a neutral color for our uh, diffuse, but what happens if we actually put this to a different color? Okay, so let's just put this to like a pink color. All right, and then let's turn back on our other light so we have a little bit more stuff happening. And then let's see what happens when we mix this with the blue. And it does just that, it starts to mix it, right? And I have it cranked up really high right now, but it starts to it starts to mix it in there and it starts to you start to get those pinks and those blues kind of how you would expect right like if we if we crank this up even more you'll see it's going to get even brighter and brighter too much there but um, so what's nice is you can you can you can treat it just as you would diffuse in the sense uh, excuse me subsurface in the sense that you can mix it with the diffuse but it's a lot 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 less heavy on your machine i mean this is moving quite fast right now and uh with subsurface it gets quite slow really quick um and yeah just to demonstrate even further this is going to be hideous but we can have green um and then if we mix this to like a red we're gonna get yeah not so much red because we have this pumped up quite a bit but you'll see if we if we bring it down then you're starting to kind of get the blending and you're getting in this weird ninja turtle <laughs> settings or something i don't know what's happening here um but yeah, uh, so that's that's kind of phase one, and I think it's I think it's important to understand that lights do affect it um, to an extent. But also, you can you can just even oh, I had this set up here to where it's like you can just even do a dome light, and you'll see like kind of how nice it looks even with a dome light. I mean, it looks like really dope if you ask me. I mean, I think that's pretty cool, like just the way that it's blending and the way that that blue and that green are happening here feel very natural. Whereas if you were to just do this, I mean, this feels like, yeah, shitty spheres that are just, yeah, not, they don't look very nice. Whereas this kind of has like a, has a quality to it and it's fast. Um, so there's really not much more to it other than that. Um, it's a very nice alternative to subsurface scattering. Um, once again, you don't have as many options, but you, the trade-off is you have speed. You have a lot of speed um, that you get really fast and you get pretty nice results. So I hope this one was helpful and I will see you on the next one.